Hi Crypto Carlos Fandango here again. Um, I think I think I fixed my video camera on my phone now. So I thought I'd do a, a quick video just to do as a test, but I thought well I might as well show you something worthwhile while I'm doing it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fire up the DS4246 NetApp disk shelf. And what I've done is um I've connect, connected it all up now to my Rillo UPS so it's going through there and I've put a, a wattage meter on the back of the server rack um, so we can have a look at the wattage that is currently going through to service the um, switch and the two Netgear Ready NAS 2100 units that are running um, and then we can see what happens afterwards for an empty disk shelf because <clears throat> that will show us the base sort of power um, that's being pulled to service the unit without the drives in. Um, now obviously they do say, and I'm, I've yet to prove this myself, that by putting SATA drives instead of SAS drives in here we're looking at five to six watts per drive additional on top of what the disk shelf needs um, and it could be anything up to three times that for a SAS drive equivalent. So definitely SATA is the way to go in this unit. Um, but I've also heard rumours that if you're putting SATA drives in here, you might be able to get away with just using one of the two power supplies that are in the unit. Um, so I'm going to fire up both and we'll see what both of those are drawing and servicing the disk shelf with um, by default. But all better if we can get away with one of the, what are they, I think they're 540 or 580 watt power units that are in the back of this. So let's go around to the back. And as you can see here, that's the wattage meter showing it's drawing, well it's, up, it's gone up to 113. It's been floating around 111 all day and all last night. Oh there you go, it's gone down again. Um, and that's for that switch and the two ready NAS units. So if we fire up the two power supplies on this disk shelf, let's see what it's going to draw on top of that 111. Um, and also, this will be very interesting for you because you can hear the noise this thing makes when it starts up. It does fire up with, well it sounds like a jet engine when it first starts off. But it's very reassuring to know that it does quieten down to a whisper after, especially when it's got no drives in as it has at the moment. Um, but be prepared because you're about to hear what this thing sounds like when it starts up. So I'll just flick these two units on. And let's find out where the other one is. And it's very brief when it fires up and there you can hear it's quietening down now and it doesn't even get quieter than that when it's empty so let's see what that empty unit is drawing with no discs in and we can see it's drawing 36 watts 36 watts at idle with no drives in so that ain't, that isn't bad at all if we you know we estimate the six watts per drive in there that's not going to be a bad bad unit to run it's going to be quite economical i think um, so that is surprising to me i wasn't expecting it to be that low an extra 36 watts at idle like that i thought it would draw a lot more than that just uh, sitting like that but you can hear it's quietened down beautifully now and if we go round to the front We can see we've got a power light, and you're probably a bit difficult to make out, but that says 04 on there, and I believe that was a disk shelf number, and I believe you can change that somehow. I thought there was a switch to cycle through some different options on the front, but it looks like it's going to be a bit more complicated than that, and we're going to have to get... I don't know. I, I wouldn't even know where to start to do that. So if any of you got any suggestions of how to change the disk shelf number on a net on a NetApp DS4246, 
go into the comments and let me know because I need to do it because I well I don't need to but it would be nice to put that as zero one so that you know um, if I get any more um, they'll follow in sequence so um, yeah anybody who knows how to do that put in the comments and, and tell me how you do that because <laughs> that would be very helpful but anyway so 24 bay dish shelf at idle 36 watts did we say or thereabouts it's actually gone down to 34 now <clears throat> so not not bad at all for empty unit um, I can't wait to get my first 18 terabyte SATA drive to put in here and we'll have another look once we've done that and see what um, what it pokes up to and then that will give us an idea and a forecast for when we have the thing fully complemented with drives. So I hope that's been useful and I hope the video is not shaky and I hope it's uh, not going blurry um, as it has done in so many videos previously. I think I've got it fixed now hopefully. Um, so until next time please subscribe and please uh, hit the bell notification icon give it a thumbs up it's always appreciated um, and i'll see you soon